Hi guys, my name is Fazan Patel and we have a brand new device from Blackberry, the Blackberry Key 2 and we will be doing the unboxing and the review of this unit. So let's get started. So that is the Blackberry Key 2 and we'll be unboxing this particular unit today and that's where the logo is if you can see. Let's have a quick look at the box. So on the front we have the Blackberry Key 2 logo and at the back we have some of the key features of the Key 2. Uh, it supports dual camera so it's 12 megapixel each and on the front it has uh, 8 megapixel. Uh, it has 6 GB RAM which is good for a business phone and 64 GB ROM. Uh, it supports 3500 mAh battery which should last you more than So let's get started with the unboxing of the Key 2 and let's open the flap up there. So there we have the Key 2. It's a beautiful device up there. Let's keep him aside for now. And here we have the usual stuff inside the box, the, the user manual, yep, the charging cable, the earphones and the charger in itself. And let's focus on the device itself, the BlackBerry Key 2. Let me power this on. And also before that, let me remove the flap. The body looks pretty sleek and uh, yep, there's a dual camera right at the back, the BlackBerry logo. One of the buttons could be function to whatever shortcut key that you want. And also each of the individual keys work as a shortcut to any particular app or shortcut that you're looking at. This phone is all about the physical keyboards. Uh, the other good thing is uh, you can even use this as a, as a scroller right there. Also the spacebar button functions more like a, a fingerprint sensor. So there you go. Let me just do this. Yep, works fine. So on the side of the phone you have the volume button up there, the power button and the BlackBerry convenience key. So you can set up, set up more shortcuts, probably uh, Gmail, Chrome. And at the bottom right there you have a USB Type-C charging port, two speakers and also a microphone. And on the top of the phone you have a earphone jack and a secondary microphone. On the back of the device you have the BlackBerry logo right there and it's a dual camera setup, 12 megapixel each and one, is, one has a regular focal length and one is a tele zoom lens and uh, I haven't tried the camera features of this particular phone yet so you'll probably get to see some pictures that I've shot with this particular unit on the blog pretty much soon. And on the front side you have uh, uh, 8 megapixel camera which is decent enough considering the target audience of this particular phone are business individuals. So internally this phone is powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 660 processor with an octa-core 2.2 gigahertz 64-bit uh, uh, processor. Um, I know this is not the standard uh, uh, Qualcomm Snapdragon which uh, uh, processor which you see in most of the phones these days, all the, all the flagship phones. but. Uh, with, this, with the process that this phone has it's, and uh, considering this is not made for heavy usage like gaming or media consumption and primarily for business usage which is a fair enough so I'm not saying this phone would be slow but it should do what it's made for. Now coming to the uh, security aspect of this phone uh, it supports uh, DTEC app uh, which is a security warning app designed specially for Blackberry and uh, it's, it's like a meter which tells you which particular app has, is secured, which is not completely secured and accordingly you can set passwords and uh, give permissions to the particular app of how much accessibility that particular app has. The other great feature of the BlackBerry Key 2 is that it supports a feature called Privacy Shade. So assume you're in a crowded place or in a metro and you don't want uh, others to see what you're reading. So you can just set the screen, the screen turns out black, whereas you can only get to see the content that you wish to read. So it's, it's just you reading the content and nobody around you. So I hope you enjoyed the unboxing and the review of the BlackBerry Key 2. Until then, goodbye.